One of my meat ant workers is about to hatch. But unfortunately, there are a few problems along the way. Will this worker survive or be rejected from the colony? I've got some really well-developed brood in this nest that's about to give us a new meat ant worker. But we can't see the babies without having a quick look at the queen. This lady is huge compared to her workers and has really distinct scarring on her thorax. The first stage are the eggs, small and white, resembling tiny grains of rice. These eggs are looked after constantly by the workers who guard them ferociously. Soon after, these eggs develop into larvae and the workers will move them around the nest and clean them to keep them free of diseases and to ensure they are in the optimum temperature. The queen will also pitch in to help if she's concerned about them. The next stage is the early pupae stage when the ant larvae begins its transformation into an adult. Inside this casing, major changes happen as adult structures such as wings, legs and eyes start to form. During this stage, the insect appears to be dormant, but actually a lot of internal activity is taking place as the transformation is happening. As it develops, the ant's features become much more pronounced and the worker ants will clean the casing constantly to ensure the pupae's safe development. Once again, they will also move the pupae around the nest to an area that is best for growth. At last, we have the very first movements from the pupae, and I know within 24 hours she will be free of all her casing and walking around. What she needs now are the worker ants to give her a bit of help to get that sticky casing fully off her. And that's exactly what's happening here. They're working hard to free the new ant, nibbling away at the white casing to allow her to escape from it. And she's up and about. But, oh no. Her legs are trapped by the casing and she can't walk properly. See the white strands holding those back legs together? She keeps falling down. If the other ants see her struggling, they might think there is something wrong with her and kill her. They do not want any sick ants infecting the nest. Now she's fallen down the hole that connects the nest to the outworld. This worker is looking on suspiciously. She's not sure the new uncoordinated ant deserves a place in this colony. Finally, her legs are unstuck and the anxious workers give her some space. However, she's still toppling over like a newborn foal. Again. And again. And now she's fallen down the hole for a second time. She's having her own little tantrum down there. Look at those legs kick at the air. Finally, she's up and has wandered into the test tube. Her legs seem to be solid now, so she joins the queen back in the nest. She's showing off now, copying the preening of the worker who is watching over her. And she finally gets the attention of the queen, who seems satisfied that this brand new worker has what it takes to join this colony. And just look at the beautiful pale colour of these new worker ants. They're a different colour because their exoskeleton has not yet fully hardened and it will take a few days for them to become the same purple colour of the older workers. So before we go, here is a really interesting shot of all the different stages of the worker brood development. You can see the eggs, the larvae and the pupae all in one shot with the anxious mother watching on. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon for more ant keeping adventures and tips. Until next time, happy ant keeping.